Hey guys, I've been evaluating Amazon Workmail and I just wanted to share my first impressions with you and yeah, come come take a look. So this is Workmail. Um, get this sort of old school splash screen and the web interface. To be honest, I don't know what Outlook web uh, looks like and um, but I think it's this. I think basically Amazon has taken Exchange and put it on their servers and called it Workmail because I think it's it's got like all the hallmarks of sort of Microsoft Outlook and it seems to work you know one to one with it and credit to them because the customers that they're, they're getting are people who have been running their own Exchange servers and they're migrating and and now they're migrating them off onto the Amazon platform and yeah but in my point of view, um, I really don't like this web interface. You know, it's just horrible compared to Fastmail and Gmail. Uh, I did test things, in, you know, like little things like search and stuff like that, but I didn't really, I didn't really, um, yeah, I couldn't really find fault with it, but I just don't like it. Like, for example, like the, it's one of those old school web interfaces where the, where the right click is bound. And you're supposed to double click things. It's got like, it looks like a product from the 90s in some ways. Um, it took me ages to, to sort of work out how to view the, the headers because I was kind of hoping that the, the headers here would show me maybe um, some spam reading or something like that. I couldn't find anything interesting. And in so this is a bit horrible. I can't really find a nice way of looking at the source. Um, but yeah, that is the web interface. Nothing very impressive. Uh, as I mentioned, if you're probably an Outlook user, this will be like, you're screaming at me saying, this is Outlook. It's just Outlook. Ah, yeah. Hmm. Um, well, let me quickly go through the, um, the sort of Amazon organizational point of view. I actually already provisioned this or I set it up on on my on my iOS device and it was actually really really straightforward. So credit to them. And and then when, once you set it up it actually appears down here in this mobile tab which is quite fun. Oh yeah, it tells you about my device. And very corporate, but you know, they like doing this stuff. You can wipe the device. Should we try that now? See what happens. Um, yeah, that's what. Let's try that. I'll, I'll basically. Okay, how do you do it? Let's wipe it. Are you sure you're on the right device? <laughs> okay, just to prove to you that I do have it set up here. This is this is my inbox here. Actually, let's let's quickly send myself a, a test mail. Uh, YouTube test mail. Hey. Okay. Sending that. So with any luck. I, th I thought the web interface is a bit lethargic, you know, like with Fastmail. Oh, yeah, I got like a buzz. With Fastmail, with Gmail, just like a message appears, which I much prefer. Uh, yeah. Okay, there it is. Okay, so that's working. But let's let's do this. Let's do a wipe. A live wipe. Wipe required. Okay, I'll just keep that in the in the frame. Um, yeah, this I was kind of hoping in the Amazon, what do you call it, settings here, that there would be more tweaks. Like I don't like HTML email, and I'm probably a bit old fashioned here, but like I wanted to have like an organizational wide setting just to have to set text email. But I'm using like the default thing, and it did take ten minutes to set up. I don't know why it's so slow. And the Amazon Workmail user guide helped me um, set up my iOS device. The FAQ is very good. And yeah, it's designed to sort of migrate Active Directory type stuff into into this. It's and that's you know I'm actually a big fan of having less settings. So kind of I'm kind of like kind of impressed actually. And uh, then you get these stupid password policy stuff. Very corporate. I'm still still got the thing. It's not wiped yet. Uh, 
What's it doing? Wipe required. I don't know. I'm just going to put that down. I'm getting tired of it. You got the normal group stuff. They have something I haven't seen before, but this, again, is probably familiar to you corporate drones. Uh, that <laughs> you can set an email address for a resource, like a room or like some sort of equipment, and you can you can book it. Domains, I guess that's for setting up domain. I, I just using the they set you up a default domain, which is quite nice. Um, so you can get up and going. Obviously, you replace it with your corporate.com thing. And um, yeah, this step mobile I had the f the f focus on <laughs> on passwords. Just, yeah, I, there isn't doesn't seem to be two factor authentication here, unless I'm mistaken. So. I hate this focus on like password lengths and stuff like that. I think it's rather dumb. The the web interface, um, you know, the out, it's just it's probably just Outlook. And that's it. I think there's there's not much to say. I'm still waiting for it to be wiped here. Nothing going on. Nothing going on. I'll leave a a note in the description if this this if the wipe actually worked. But otherwise, I'm impressed by Workmail. It seems to be exchange in the cloud, and that's what you expect, and that's what it is, and it works. But as a power user, as a as a G, someone coming from Gmail or maybe Fastmail, I think the feature it's a bit like I don't think people who are using Gmail groups or, or whatever are that keen on or or G, what's it called the Gmail Google apps. I don't think they're very keen on this stuff. It does seem to be basically Microsoft World, which and it does feel a bit 10 years old. So that's my first impressions. Please leave a comment. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want me to look into it further. Holy crap, my, 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 my Apple just started to restart. Maybe this wipe thing does work. Oh no, if it wiped my whole Apple thing, if it wiped, <laughs> If it wiped my whole Apple iOS device, I will not be happy because I've got photos of my kid and stuff. Oh shit. I've just, I just, oh no. I've been watching my face there. A couple of times of it. it's quite funny, but seriously, I did wipe my phone, and I, I hope you don't do the same mistake as I did. I I mean, why why can't I just remove the email account from Mail? Having a con having complete control over someone's device is very corporate and very not cool with me. Definitely not cool. You. No way am I using Workmail with that sort of feature. Um, another thing I just wanted to mention is that in the FAQ, it says that it doesn't support like standard protocols like IMAP and POP3. And that's a bit of a no-go for me because I, I like to pull down my emails over IMAP and um, fiddle around with it. Um, maybe I'm just insane, but like it's the way I back up things and all that stuff. And as far as I can... I, um, there's maybe some active sync backup tool I'm probably that I'm not aware of, but as far as I know, all that exchange stuff is proprietary, and it's a shame that uh, well, I mean hopefully Amazon will reintroduce some standard protocols like IMAP or even JMAP, the JSON IMAP protocol, and then I would be I feel a lot better about using it. But but using proprietary standards and not cool, not cool. That wipe was not cool. Oh, please give me a like if you feel a little bit of sympathy for me.